So with that now we have the duration that uh, we can uh, proceed to the diagram. So Roman 1, when you are asked now uh, network diagram, let's have um, a sketch here. So A and B are the ones starting the project. So this is A, this is B. Then we have uh, activity C coming from uh, A meeting with the B and the B uh, meeting with the B that is to give us D. So that means we have this. So this is C coming from A and to meet with the B, C, uh, to, with the B that is to give us D. This will give us D. Activity E coming from D. Activity F coming from D. So this is activity E and activity F. They are all coming from D. This E, this is F. Then G coming from the two combined. There is no way these two can come from the same source coming from D and they are going to combine and give us activity G. So automatically we are going to have uh, some dummy to give us now activity uh, G. So we can just change uh, a bit instead of having this way. So either we can lay them down, all of them. So you can have the triangle, triangle, then you have activity G at the end there. So you can have it this way. This is my final draft. So I'm having the first event to give us activity B. B to give us activity D, uh, D. Mm -hmm. This is D. Then D to give us F. F to give us G. Then you can have activity A, then C. You can have activity A here. So A, then C. Then have activity here. So this is activity E. Then you have dummy that way. So you're having all the activities involved. So now we can record the duration. I'm using now this expected duration. So uh, A is 4, then B is 5.9, C is uh, 2.9, D is 4.2, um, E is 4.8, F is 6.6, .6, while well, a G is 2.5. So to get the uh, earliest start time and earliest finish time, which is uh, the earliest event time, it is zero. We add four, this is four. When you add 2.9, we get 6.9, while this one is 5.9. So we just take the 6.9 as our uh, longest. Then we add this is going to be give us 11.1, uh, 11.1. When you add 11.1, then up here when you add this is going to give us 15.9. Uh, 15.9 is our total there. When you add to zero, this is zero. It's 15.9, but when you add this one is higher. This is 17.7. 17.7. 17.7. When you add 17.7, when you add this one now becomes. Um, this is uh this is 20 20.2 20.2 then 20.2 is our final if you subtract uh, this you'll get a 17.7 .7, meaning activity g is what 
critical. G is critical. Then going up here, minus 0 is 17.7, meaning dummy is not critical. Dummy is not critical. Then going down or either this way, you have 11.1. .1. Activity F is the one which is critical, activity F. Then going uh, backward, uh, this will give us 6.9, meaning activity D for dog is critical. Then finally, going up, up here, this will give us, I think, 4, which is critical. Then down, this is 0. Activity A is the one critical, but not activity B. So we can now say that a critical path, critical path, uh, this is actually A, C, D, F, G. A, C, D, F, G. Well, now we were asked the Roman 2. This being Roman 1. Roman 2, you asked the expected duration of the project. This is expected. Project duration. Project. Duration. This is actually 20.2. Were they weeks or days? These are weeks. 20.2 weeks. Now, that is how the question could have been answered. Assuming there is no simulation and assuming that um, you are not to use simulation to answer the Roman 1 and 2. Because simulation is coming to Roman 3. Well, Roman 1 or Roman 2, you have already answered the expected duration of the project. But if the examiner wanted us to use simulation to get the duration, then of course now this is what you should have done. So I'm now answering Roman 3. Then I also connect. I said that uh, suppose Roman 2 was coming after Roman 3. What would have been the solution?